This is Team Wukopa food. Our project is the mobile lifeguard, where we help the Gavison uh, lifeguard to save life. We created a mobile app that helped them to look for a missing person, reporting emergency sites and stuff like that. So we have the app here, uh, a speech guardian with this. And first we have the login working, so we can use a account that is not gonna work to see if it will reject you. Okay, it's gonna reject me now. Okay. So I just get rejected where it just prompts you, oh, user does not exist, or password is wrong, something like that. And then you put the right one. Yeah, then you'll be able to lock into the application and use it. So now uh, the dashboard, uh, the update that we made is this icon. Supposed to <laughs> it's a line. Like before, it was like shifting depends on the screen size, and now stuff are added so it will look more uniform, even on a different iPhone that have different screen size. Like this one is six or seven, something like that, and then even on ten, it will look even like better. And the edges of the buttons around, so a little more like an iOS app instead of an Android, where we're essentially trying to port it over to iOS. And we have the hamburger menu added up on the top one, click on it. It just sign out and close, close, you just close it back down. And uh, yeah. So for UI team, the reason focus was making the user experience more pleasant. At least things look better, they flow better. Uh, for the missing person form, uh, yes. Uh, now this one is compatible, also compatible with, uh, for different screen size. Before, like this, you know, here is it? Can you move that around? Can you, can you move that? Like, like this one, if it's a smaller screen, it will like poke through and then you just get cut here. So now it's a line here. Uh, you got a picker menu, a slider or stuff like that, sit down here, that after you select, quick select, what do you want? And then, uh, now user, if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, uh, you can now select photo. That is really dangerous, I don't wanna see, you know, mistakes happen. Uh, yeah, so now you can select a photo here and upload. It will take, it will take a really long time. Oh wait, it's a lot faster this time. Okay. Uh, now, this is uh, basically what we're on right now. For uh, this print, we actually finally get Junkus working. Uh, the tab bar, so this, where's the tab bar? This actually is, like, uh, is persistent now. Uh, you can take pictures with the camera, which you just see upload, and then I'm not gonna show that. Okay, we're not gonna show that right now. And we started on the chat development. Uh, progress is made on the Conito for the locking, where you see it's finally working now. Uh, missing person form completed. Now we just need to collect them and send them to the database through the API, which is also in progress. Now uh, we are trying to you do the test case for the logic, uh, which is we're running into a lot of issues and we need some extra help on it. So hopefully we can talk to the professor after this. And uh, for the database part, since stuff haven't changed it, we are, we are making adjustments to suit the UI's need to help them uh, implement their features. For uh, the cause, like the drowning, medical disturbance, 911, it was working, but I found a recent uh, fix. It's broken for now, but we'll fix it like, soon to get it back online. And then, uh, buttons, call function. Yeah, the next one, the, the next goal to look for UI is basically trying to send and receive the information with the API to the, uh, to the database. And then uh, we'll have some iteration goals. Uh, Professor, you wanna see it on your screen or I can just read it for you? Is it pretty good? No, he's, he's still listening. Okay. Uh, well, why, don't, why don't you show it? Okay, yeah. uh,
Make, make sure you increase the font size so that Dr. Subramaniam can read. That will do. Can you, can you read it? Now I can. So, uh, the project we started is basically trying to get the Android version to the iOS. And then if we time allow after the basic, uh, the basic is completed, meaning everything that works on Android now works on an iPhone. If time allow, we will proceed to upgrade the uh, application for a sponsor. And uh, for sprint, for the next sprint, like for this sprint, yeah, for this sprint, we have solved the problem of login, login works, uh, testing code issues, but we are running into issues that uh, we don't really know how to test code that you uh, interact, to, interact with Amazon Web Services, which we already get a response and we're working on it right now, but we still need some help. And we need, uh, we are also running into issues with Amplify, which for the login part also. Uh, for the for the login and chat team, the next iteration goal will be and forget password, sign out, remember device, uh, or change password. And then the chat like is they will be working on it too. And for the UI team, uh, so they're <coughs> added step oh too much. I think the added step for a missing person. Uh, now. It's, they store actually stores stuff back into the application, and we can now prepare them to send it through the API to the database. And now for the next goal, uh, next iteration goal, we'll be actually working with the database team to talk to know how we can interact, like how they can interact with the API that the DB team created. And for the uh, database team. The goal that we need, we have basic function for the API, and now we just need to add the queries or corresponding to what request they want, and have the S3 uh, working and softbox. For next iteration goal for the database team, we'll be integrating with the UI team and the login team if they need me, need us to help them. Yeah, basically that's it for our next iteration and goals. Is that it? That's it? Okay. Make it? Okay. So if you can go back to the initial screen for login. Yeah, okay, we need to put the phone back in. Exception. That's it's got to be user friendly. Right. I don't think the real world users want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And and also, what about if I speak only Spanish? What's the Spanish? <laughs> yeah. Can you can you go to the can you can you go to the login and can you go to that page please where you can uh, uh, type the information there's a there's English version and there's a Spanish So 
So if um, th this is on a on a smart device, so the device knows what my language locale is. So there's no reason for be in English. Uh, at the moment, it's more geekish, but nevertheless, could be in Spanish on the other screen when the user logs in, and then here it could be either English or Spanish, isn't it? I speak Spanish, it's in Spanish. If I don't speak Spanish, it's in English. Who uh, knows? You know, I just came back from a country where they speak Portuguese. This could be in Portuguese. So can we use the locale of the... to determine the language rather than hard coding it here? Uh, we're not sure. We can look into it. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're considering because, okay. uh, you know, um, this to me, honestly, is a distraction. 100% of the time, I'm going to be using English okay. yeah, opinion, we'll we'll and similarly for a Spanish-speaking person, it's a noise having it in English. The other question I have is uh, when you have a screen for, an, I thought it was a take photo. <laughs> I want to know what that means. If the person is missing, you cannot take a photo. I mean, I understand you have the ability to take a photo, but the person is missing. And you found the person. Hey, don't put me in the missing report. Hey, you can't find him. He's covering his face. So, so when you go to that page, I thought there was a page where it said take photo. Or upload? Yeah, right there. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, I don't understand what the take photo is. So we haven't uh, implemented the take photo button yet, but uh, what it's supposed to do is to open up the camera, kind of like what the other uh, photo icon I, I can barely hear, sorry. Oh. I hear. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. Hold on, please. Yes, uh, say it's because we haven't actually implemented take photo to activate the camera right away. The reason that you can take photo with upload photo is because you activate a gallery, and that in, in turn you can take photo with the gallery app that way. Okay, that's so why it's in there too. Photo off a photo that's already there. Huh? Is that to take a photo of a photo that's already with with the person? Uh, was it, uh, a photo like a person, a person. Yeah, okay, hold on. So let me also ask this is the question related to what Dr. Subramaniam just asked. So let's. This is. I mean, this is for the missing person's photo, right? Right. If if the person is missing, how can I take the photo oh, of the maybe, missing person? Maybe he has a photo on another phone or something. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's what that's what the sponsor wants. Okay, so got it. Really have it there. All right. Yeah. And that, and Venkat, what was your question? Quiet, please. Uh, my, my question is, how do you take a photo of a missing person? Yeah, that's what's going to say. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> it's just missing, so we're no. We might have another document that have pictures on it, so maybe that way. That is a requirement by the sponsor. Uh, you said, you Quiet, please. That they, you mentioned that uh, they might have a physical photo, like a physical, like a hard copy of the missing person photo, so they would just take a picture of that photo, if that makes sense. I was I was just wondering maybe use camera maybe a better wording than take photo I don't know something to consider okay yeah um yeah, that's all I have okay now my my question <laughs> now more, more like a suggestion um so how how close are you guys from the uh, the Android version of this app now you're working on the iOS so f how how far are you from fully the hundred percent conversion from the uh, iOS, iOS, uh, the Android version as uh, of right now. It's the missing person is completed. They mm -hmm. send data to the database. Okay. Uh, I would say a notification to check. Okay. They were at the same spot they were. In. Got it. <coughs> okay. So okay. Uh, anyway, so another question. Not question, but can you? Yeah. You see, you see, you see all those icons. They're kind of a. It's not straight yeah, in line. Yeah, it's the uh, issues that we run into with the small right. thumb. So we've made it a lot better, but if you run it on the XR, like uh. it's all uniform, 
But as soon as you start moving to different screen sizes, it becomes increasingly difficult to make it uniform. Right? Is, aren't, aren't those logos? I mean, aren't those logos part of the buttons or? They're pictures that we stick on. Okay, got you. Yes, and another suggestion that I have is, uh, why we have uh, underlines? Is it isn't it better that we uh, remove the underline, maybe uh, boldface all the all the all the uh, all the fonts, so that they, it looks, I don't know, crispier perhaps? I mean, call nine one one is okay, but it's already boldface. But all these six buttons and call call which Garbison Beach Portrait, maybe remove the underlines and then. Uh, but having said that. The Android, the Android version. Does the Android version has the underline and? Uh, but by default, when you run it, it has the underline already. So Android version already has the underline. No, for uh, not, and iOS. Oh, iOS. When you run it, it's default underline. It's a way to disable the under underline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can it? But make it a yeah. That would be nice. Uh, yep. That's it for me. Right, thank, yeah. you. thank you. Thank you.